so I feel like there, there was a few moments in my life that kind of were like reminders of kind of being grateful for life and taking life kind of by like the horns. But I'll, I'll start from August of 2020. So uh, I just got back to school and I was excited. I was with my friends. We were drinking and um, we went to our friend's rooftop apartment complex. And one thing that happened there was there were a few strangers there. Not the right crowd I would say and uh, there was a little like argument that happened like on the rooftop and uh, what so I brought this bottle of uh, Hennessy right and this one of them had like my bottle in their hand so I was like a little drunk and I was being a little aggressive and I gr like I just kind of like grabbed the bottle from him and I was like give me that back you know and then the next thing you know he pulled out a gun and like pointed at me and I, at that moment I kind of just like froze and I was like wait a minute like this I have you ever had a gun pointed at you? I was like, wait, this is real. So I literally just didn't say a word and I walked away. And then like our friends like kind of like we all freaked out and kind of like kicked him out and like he fired a couple shots in there. It was like a live gun, right? So um, at that moment, I was pretty, and I was like, you know, a little drunk too, but like regardless, I was super like torn because I was like, man, that could have been it over like a stupid bottle of like, liquor right like you never you never would think that like something like that would just happen at like your friend's apartment you know so at that moment i was just very nervous and scared because i was like dude like what was the last thing i would have said like ha have i said to like my mom or my dad or my friends or my sister or you know the people in my life because i was kind of just like rewinding everything i was like am i satisfied with everything that i've done up to that point because that could have been it for me. It literally could have been it for me. And I was, I was just like in sh like, I just couldn't believe it because like, we all think we're kind of like invincible and like that stuff doesn't happen to us. And we all see it through social media and like the internet. And we're pretty like desensitized to like, you know, stuff that happens to people. Like, I don't, we don't see deaths really, but like, you know, if there's like a fire or like an accident and stuff like that, we're like, Oh, that sucks. But like, those are like real people, you know? So, I was very, very shocked and like from that day forward, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to kind of enjoy my life a little bit more, like kind of like reach out to the people I love and, you know, kind of just like have fun with like what I'm doing and like be true to myself and have that. So, um, and I, and I was for like the first couple of weeks, but then it went away, right? Like that's, it's like kind of like a new year's resolution. Like it's like, oh, I'm, I'm going to like be on a diet and then like, you eat, you know, a Chipotle burrito bowl like once and then you're like, all right, I'm done. Like whatever. Like you kind of move on from it. You kind of like forget about it. And it's, it's like, whatever, like life goes on. Cause like there's other things in your head, like kind of happening. And like, you kind of forget about like that underlining like thing to like guide you. So then a couple months later in, um, October actually. So I was, I went to Indiana university. Uh, I was in Acacia, very frat. I know. Um, but one of our uh, fraternity brothers named Skylar, um, he went down to Alabama for the weekend and um, he basically got out like somebody like shoved one of like our like frater another fraternity brother and then he kind of like stepped in and like kind of like defended him and whatnot and uh, this guy at the bar pulled out a gun and shot him. So he, he passed away in like Alabama and we were all in Nashville, Tennessee at the time like all at a bar together and like happy enjoying life and then we got like a call that like you know, Skylar was like, not gonna make it. He, he's dying. Like he, he got shot, whatever. And it was, it was, very, it was super unfortunate. And it was super. There were a lot of emotions going. On. I can't even like describe like the emotion. You know, uh, sad, right? It was, it was devastating. And we were all together, and we were all, you know, crying and holding each other, and like really like coming together, and like like being there for each other because like that was just like horrible having someone in like your life like pass away with like that and that kind of like it brought me kind of back to that moment of like almost getting shot right it was like damn like what was and like we uh like uh skylar's mom like there was like a service and a vi vigil at uh, indiana and his mom like gave the whole story and it was very heartbreaking to see and like you know seeing like how like some man just took away his life like that you know and like she couldn't even recognize her son after like he got shot and was like dying on the hospital bed. And that like, that was kind of like a moment of, like, wow, like could have been me, you know? I'm like, that could have been me. Like I really need to like, you know, be like, reach out to more people in my life. Like kind of connect with people saying, I love you more. And like, 
kind of just like do what I want because I was like, what was Skyler's? Like, what was my last words? Like Skyler, what was like my like what was the last thing he did before going to Alabama? Was he doing homework? Like was he you know hanging out with his friends? Like I I really wonder what was his last moments of life and like memories with his like friends and family, you know and. That was kind of just like, it was like another reminder and it was another thing that like, life goes by quick, like, it's any, any, it could be anybody, anybody could like be taken, you know, and that was just like, wow, like, I really just want to um, do what I love and really, really like pursue like, what I want to do in life and, you know, side story, I own a clothing brand called Awful Cloth. For Shout sure. out, link in the bio. Sure, sure, check it out. Um, <laughs> And like at that time, like I thought I was gonna like work in like Dallas, Texas for like AT and T, like a corporate job. And like around that time, I was like, you know what, like this full time, like I need to like follow my dream. I need to like kind of like I just wanted to like, keep pushing and keep doing like what I feel like I was meant to do in this life. And like, cause I was like, I swear, Serafina, like <laughs> I thought I was gonna work in Dallas, and I, I love I love my job. No, I could not picture you working in Texas. The corporate job, like, yeah, yeah, no, nine to five. You're not built to do that. No, I couldn't do it. But I, I, like, I did well there, and like, I loved like my coworkers, and I loved like Texas. But I was like, you know what? Like, I need to figure out how to like scale this business and do whatever. And like, that kind of like inspired me to kind of just like you know do this life because like you know what? I'd rather like if I was like working right now, and God forbid something happened to me, and like I wouldn't want like my last moments to be at an office chair, kind of like punching in numbers in an Excel spreadsheet. Like, I want to like make clothes and like do like more awesome things and have more freedom of like uh, my lifestyle and stuff like that. So that was like kind of what like inspired me to like push and like do my like business and like it's not just that like just everything I do in my life whether it's like something like trying something new or like uh, like just doing something a little different or picking up a new hobby and stuff like that. So um, that's what kind of like inspired me a little bit but back to like the whole idea it was just like the idea of like being grateful for the people in your life because I feel like we all kind of like get so down on ourselves where you know everyone gets down on themselves everyone gets sad like life's a roller coaster we have good days we have bad days like it's normal to have both it's like human you know but to really have like um like that moment where you realize like i have the best people in my life is like the moment you kind of just like know like why you're living your life like why you need to be in this life right it's because like Skyler had an amazing community of people and like when you looked around and see like all the people who were just as heartbroken as his mom for his death it shows that like the impact he had and like you'll you'll never know your impact until you you're probably like beyond up and beyond in heaven or hell or wherever you may be uh like you never you never will know like your impact until after and like it you don't have to know because you, that like people will figure that out and realize that like when when it's necessary and it's not and that doesn't have to be a death that makes them figure out like this person's special it's more about the idea it's like you think about that person like what do you think about that person like what do you think like do you think good things good memories laughs like fun or do you you know so um that was like a moment where i was like i am i have great i have a great circle of people i have the best people in my life like my like close friends from like home and iu and my family and like friends from everywhere and like i was just like wow like I'm grateful I gotta reach out and keep my community close to me because they're the ones who are always supporting me and loving me and like even people I don't like talk haven't talked to in like years like I've reached out to and like say like look like how are you doing like I still care about you just because I'm busy doing my own thing like it doesn't mean like I don't think about you once in a while right so that that happened in October and um, unfortunately that wasn't like the last like death like I actually experienced it and I was like very grateful for my life and like doing like the like I said like was reaching out to people like very loving and appreciative of my life and like took some initiative on things and like my passions and dreams and um, then come come around like April you know uh, there's a lot of death like I'm sorry like I like I've never experienced like so much shit in my life. but um, April there was this uh, kid from like my high school his name was Jacob uh, he passed away too in like eight like April uh, like first or second right so he like unfortunately like fell off a balcony or whatever and I was good friends with him but like I was like uh, like not not his best friend but like I still cared about the kid right and like I was like very sad about that you know and I like was just telling my, my roommates like I love you guys whatever and uh, n nothing more than that and I was like six days later like uh, one of my really good friends Peter just away from like um, uh, like a fake prescription pill whatever and that was like really really traumatizing for me because 
I was like really close with the guy and I was like I knew and like that week before like his family visited him and like his brother I met his brothers his whole family his mom dad and whatever and that was something like not just I was like experiencing grief but like like every like all my roommates like people who were like my age because like we all like loved the Peter and we like it loved his energy and like what he kind of brought to the table and like it was a very 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 sad time and like we all came together and we all like you know showed up big at like the service and like um, we all grieved together we all laughed together and it was just like yeah, I think that one was like very very worse for me because like I saw him like a few days before right it, it, he passed away on a Tuesday I saw him like Saturday something like that so he and like I was hanging out with him and, I was, and I'm just like every day I think I'm like what the hell did I say to him last like, what were my last words to him like there were probably something like we're talking about probably like girls or sports or something like that you know like something like simple but like I'm like did I say like goodbye did I say I love you to him you know did I say like I'm grateful for you you know and like you don't think to say that all the time because like you know you, you're not that's not always like there's always a, there's always a time and place to do that but like, you don't think to do that you know at a bar or like at like wherever you may be and I I was just like very very in my head about that I was like damn like I should have like like told him I love you more I should have like hung out with him more and like done this more and like that more and more but then then you come to realize it's like you know everything happens for a reason like everything like things happen like that I would say that was like the staple that really changed everything because I I've had like those moments right I've had like I almost got shot and like I, sh I kind of played it off a little bit too but like I it shouldn't have because like that was like it could have been me it could have been me, and it was live. I mean, shooting live bullets, right? So like, it could have been me over a bottle of Hennessy. Like, my mom would have been pissed. Like, that was like stupid, you know? Like, and then like my buddy Skylar, then Peter, and like Peter was like, that one was like a very like, that, that took like a while to really, you know, kind of like settle in from because like, you never know like when someone's gonna leave, and like it's it's not easy. Like, no one like trains you to be ready for death. Like, no one like, there's no like textbook guide on like how to like get over a death there isn't a way you know so that was like the big moment but big moment for me but a very important thing i learned like which this quote like stays for me like probably forever um it's people will forget what you said people will forget what you did but people will never forget how you made them feel that's kind of like the whole point of like life it's like you it's all about how you, how a person makes you feel you're not going to forget you're not going to remember every conversation or every you know thing you guys did together but like when you think about one person like you know how that person makes you feel and it could be positive or negative it could be like happy sad it could be whatever it wants but like that is kind of like life and like how like us humans kind of like work with each other and like kind of like feel for each other and like are like emotional with each other like that so um that is a very very important quote to me and i think everyone should kind of like live by that and just like Forget, like, you know, don't be petty about little things that somebody, like, didn't do for you or be, you know, worried about th to do to do things for other people. You should just be more uh, worried about, like, keep like, making the people around you feel comfortable and happy and, like, uh, you know, cherish being around you. And so, uh, like, that was a really important quote for me. And uh, from that day on and to this day, like, I feel like I've now done a very good job of, like, Reaching out to people, I feel like I always drop the I love you. I always say I love you. Even to like some like strange, like not strange, but like people I like kind of talk to, kind of not talk to. Like, Goes up to a random person, I love you. Yeah, like, I love you. No, <laughs> but like even like Instagram, DM, like like people side up on like my story, I'm like, I love you. Like it's like, and like okay, like, you know, it's like, who the fuck is this kid? But um, like I feel like I do a better job of just like reaching out to people I haven't talked to in a while or like just like making people feel like important and special because like everyone wants to feel like uh, important and like feel like like everyone likes a little attention right like i feel like that's a very important to remember like uh if you like just give your attention to other people and like kind of like make them feel like a somebody like it goes like a very long way and that's kind of like where that quote comes in is because like wow like this person makes me feel like great about myself like i feel special and people people need that you know it's not it's not like it doesn't come around often like some people like you don't know what people are going through you don't know what people are like doing and stuff like that and like I feel like that word gets like tossed around a lot like you don't know what people are going through but like they you, you literally don't because like there are people who are thinking right now like I am worthless I want to you know kill myself I am like 
I have nobody to like go to. I have nobody I trust. You know, like it's like people are in their heads a lot. Like I'm in my head like right now. Like I feel like I'm always just like thinking and like thinking or, like even just like about this question. I'm like, am I saying the right thing? Like it's always important to like just go out of the way first. Like the people in your life that like make you special. Like even if it's like just your mother your like good friend, your friend that you've never like, you haven't talked to in like years from like high school, make them feel important, like reach out and like a small compliment or like just make, just make, just make, try to make somebody's day. Like it's like, it's not that hard because like then it's like, wow, like you, like you will, like not only will that person like remember how you made them feel, but like you will remember how they felt too. And like, I wish I did more for Peter and Skylar and like, you know, everyone, I always wish I did more, but like, I also don't like, like regret it too much because like I, you never have control. But now, I would regret it because I know that I need to do that now. And it was kind of just like lessons. Like we just kind of like pick and choose like our lessons like in life. And like I feel like that also gets thrown around a lot, like life lessons and stuff like that. But like we learn as humans. Like I feel like our chapter, like we keep gaining new chapters and stuff like that. And like that's what makes us like smarter. And like what well, well, we're like I'm like 23 years old, like kind of old, but. That's um, not old. I know, but we, we have like a lot of like time left and I feel like people who are 40 are still like learning like life stuff and like just like stuff in general like that. Like we're not like nobody's like as smart as you think they are, right? So it's very important to kind of just like, uh, you know, go along with, uh, go along and like take failures and lessons and like things that you've experienced in your life and put it back into yourself and apply it. Because if you don't apply it, then you're just going to be having the same lessons every every week or month or a year whatever it may be so i think like having like this like like losing my friend was very like hard and like it was something like i will never forget but it really kind of like blossomed me to think that i need to like just kind of take control of like not only like my life but like take control of like my um emotions towards people and kind of show people like um that they are special and they are important like be grateful for that because i want I want to be remembered as like someone who was the guy who made him feel good, right? So I'm very grateful for like my experiences with like all of that. So um, almost getting shot, um, Skylar, Skylar's death and Peter's death. Like I feel like those kind of like shaped my whole last year. So this all happened within like six six month period. So half a year worth, you know. And it was all quick and all like all unexpected, right? And um, since then, I feel like I've really had more of of a mission in my life and kind of like realize like it, it go like a couple things right so it's like being grateful for the people around you because like i feel life is about people right like pe everyone has somebody in their life so like if it's one person and if it's a hundred people it's like a thousand people whatever it may be like just maintaining those relationships in your life and always reaching out and always uh, giving giving to those people as well like you could of course receive but like also give give back to those people and make people feel important like reach out to them like a phone call doesn't hurt anybody like, give people your time because like time is the one thing that like we realize that is like it's the most valuable thing it's more way more valuable than money because like if i had more time with peter like i would have taken more time than any dollar amount in my life right or skylar or those kind of things right so like time's very important give people your time because people know that like time is valuable and like people at my age at least so at my age people are working more busy and like we're figuring out this like life shit right and so like we have less time than we think we have so giving somebody your time is very it's it's a it's a it's a, it's a very big compliment even if they don't like realize it or see it like that like it's a big deal so that's one thing like keep maintaining like the circle in your life but another thing is just like doing what you like in your life right because like i like there's a lot of things in my head like, i want to accomplish like a lot more and i feel like i have a lot more to accomplish like along the way but i feel like that we we kind of like kind of push that aside sometimes because we think we're busy or we think we don't have time for those things because we want to like m keep a consistent routine where that is kind of like where you fall a little short because if you want to if you maintain a consistent routine then you're always just gonna be walking in this circle, but you don't know what the path is like. So like this, like I, I went to like Los Angeles for like a work trip, and like uh, one of the, like, this photographer kind of like told me this like thing about uh, horse shutters, right? And it's like, um, like right now in life, we're kind of wearing like horse shutters. Like we see what's ahead, like in front of us right now, right? Like we only see like what's in eyesight, but 
when the horse shutters are off, there's so much other things around us that we don't even see yet. But in life, we're always wearing the horse shutters until we're, we're at the end of the life. And the horse shutters come off and we're like, oh yeah, I've had all these great things. But right now, horse shutters, we, we only see what's in front of us, right? We don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen in the next six months for myself or like a year or like whatever it may be, but like I only see what's in front of me right now and the only way I can see the other things is to kind of just like go through life and experience it and like if I want to change it like I I gotta get out of this path or like do something different because like if you change something like other things around you will change whether good or negative and like uh, some people don't like change like I feel like change is like uh, hit or miss sometimes you're like oh I don't like that like it went in wet, whether it's like a small thing like your favorite restaurant gets rid of your, your favorite food or like oh wow like my friend is moving to like Arkansas, whatever it may be. A big change for me was not having my friend Peter, right? And like, it was very unfortunate. I'm, it's okay for me to feel like sad and stuff like that's That's like what makes us like human. If you don't feel sad sometimes, then like, I don't know if you're really getting the bigger idea of life. Well, that is, I don't know if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. I don't know if it makes sense. No, you are making like- <laughs> When I'm talking like this long to like myself without like any like, yeah. I'm just like. No, it's making perfect. Who am I? What am I saying? No, okay. Yeah. So, 